Where can we put this so we can chase somebody if they try to take it? What's up guys? It is a steamy one today in New York. It's like 90 degrees, but we got a photo shoot to do. This is the model Jacob. He is a big and tall model. He's from Maryland. This is his very first photo shoot. So we got to send him home with some good photos. So you can come along with me today and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Let's go. One of the most challenging things not shooting in studio is that you have to find somewhere for the model to change. And uh, that could be tricky in New York. I mean, there aren't as many public bathrooms as you think. So we just finished this outfit. So now we have to find somewhere for him to change into his next outfit. Wish us luck. So we struck out at that Starbucks. They had no bathroom, so now we gotta improvise. How can a Starbucks not have a bathroom when I'm shooting? So the rule of thumb is whether it's the stylist, cameraman, photographer, model, every five seconds, somebody has to look over at the bags to make sure nobody's stealing it, okay? For a jacket, you can do all, yeah. Nice, nice. Attitude. This, like, we're cool. Yeah, we can do some hands and then we'll do, let's try some of these, like this, like, like that. And then I'm gonna shoot over here facing this direction, okay? okay. So a lot of, people, whether they're models or not models, their mouth can get a little tight when they're shooting. You see them go like, people have a variety of faces. So you always try to get the person, shake it out, like show them, shake it out. There, he's gonna demonstrate. See, shake it out. Keep it loose. You don't wanna get those muscles too, uh, too taut because it can look too, like you're trying a bit too hard and it just doesn't look good in pictures. So if for every look, when you nail the full body shot, you've got, uh, you've got some waist ups, always try to get a head shot. You never know which look you're gonna use. Models always need something for the front of their card, for their website, profile photo. So for every look, I try to get a really good head shot. So time to change next outfit. You have to remember all that matters is what can be seen in the frame. Somebody might look at this situation and say, why would you take a picture here? There's a guy sleeping right here. Uh, there's all this stuff in the background, but it doesn't matter because I know what's gonna come out in the frame isn't gonna show that. Careful of the, the waistband of the Under Armour coming up. There you go. It's a wrap. Cut it, film it. Cut it, edit it. So you might be wondering, why would you shoot today? It's really overcast. I can't even tell you where the sun is. It's just one solid color of gray. Not every day that you shoot has to be this perfect sunny day with sun rays coming down. In fact, on sunny days like that, you can't shoot in the middle of the day because um, it's either 
too hot or it makes really ugly shadows on somebody's face. You always have to worry about shadows that are being cast on the clothes because the sun makes shadows. Because the light is diffused because of the clouds, it makes the light even. So I don't have to Photoshop any shadows under people's eyes. The wrinkles in the clothes don't show up as much and it just gives you a general, the, the light is way more even than if today had been one of those perfect sunny days. It was important to give Jacob a variety of different looks. You saw we did a full suit, then we did a suit jacket, then we did a leather jacket. You, unless you're specifically working for a suit company or a leather jacket company, you don't wanna go do all of the same thing. You want diversity in your pictures. So when he puts his portfolio together, he can show people how he looks in a light suit, a dark suit, a suit jacket with no tie, how he looked in a leather jacket, how he looks in jeans. You have to show diversity. You can't just give people one type of photo. So the lens that I decided to shoot with today is the Tamron 28 to 75. It's an f 2.8. It's a great versatile lens, means I can go wider, I can go closer for portraits, I can go down to 2.8, especially if you need the light. Um, sticking to something like a 50, I would kind of be a little bit more confined, but you could shoot this with a 50. I used to shoot everything on a 50. But this Tamron 28 to 75 has been really, really good, allowing me to zoom in, uh, keeping that shallow depth of field. I can go in and out quickly as opposed to running back and forth. If I had a prime lens, like a prime 35 or a prime 50, I'd be running in and out like this all the time. This is kind of a good one-stop shop. And that's why it was sold out for six months and I had to wait in line before I got it. Being a large person myself, I'm 6'4 and like 230, 240 pounds. I know how to shoot people that are big and of various different sizes uh, because I know how to shoot myself. Even though we don't want to hide that he's big, you can't. I mean, he's got long limbs. He's very in proportion. Um, he's got long limbs but we don't want to ever make him look awkward or gangly. We don't want to have him doing things where people are like, God, this guy's too big, he can't model. You just treat it like, get clothes that fit and treat it like any other photo shoot. I mean, we're all people, whether you're small size, big size, anyone can look good in photos if you take the picture properly. Yep, Jacob Mandish from Maryland. Uh, this is my first ever photo shoot, first time in New York City. So it's kind of crazy just being around, seeing the sights, seeing the sounds. Um, shooting next to a guy that's sleeping was definitely interesting for me. But um, in general, just being my first photo shoot, I don't really know much about modeling or how to get the right angle, how to do the right face. Um, just the, the right, just not looking awkward while doing it, especially since I'm a tall, big guy. Uh, and uh, Jonathan being a big guy as well, kind of walked me through the whole process. And I felt more comfortable as the time went on. So hopefully we got some good pictures. So we got some really good pictures today, especially since it's Jacob's first time. I was actually really impressed. Um, I've had some horror stories with people who didn't get quite as many good photos. So for his first time, that was really sick. The pictures are gonna go up on the website, on the Wilhelmina website. They're gonna go in his portfolio. I'll put a link in the description so you can see what the final product looked like. I don't really have to do much editing to them, maybe a little bit color-wise, but this guy's got really good skin. He came with his hair done well, had people show up looking homeless before, so this guy, he really, you know, he did a good job for his first time. He came prepared. And uh, hopefully this summer, I'm gonna be doing more photo shoots with more people, um, both here and overseas. So I'm gonna show you some photo shoots with a whole bunch of different people. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Hopefully I can get to them and I will see you on the next shoot. See ya.